What's up guys? I just wanted to take a quick 2-3 minutes here to show you guys this power transformer. There was a few questions asked in the comments on a couple videos actually. How we get the, the 120 volt supply for all the LED lights, indicators, switching mechanisms that are used to monitor a power transformer. Right now we're in a 230 kV switch yard and it's a pretty good example of, of a particular setup where we get the 120 volt pretty much right off the power transformer. So hopefully you guys can hear me okay. It's it's quite noisy in the switch air today. It's, it's kind of strange. I don't think it's overly humid in the air today, but the, the 230 line as we get closer is making quite a racket. This is the, the circuit breaker, the protection for the power transformer. Let's zoom out here a bit. Right in behind us here, we have our disconnect switch. When when that circuit breaker operates, if, if we've got to work on the lines at all, we can't rely on that for protection where it's an internal mechanism for the disconnect. So these are our disconnect blades for a visual. It's also got the grounding bars right there in the center of the screen now, which we've seen in a recent video, the 345 KV switching video. So you see we've got things here like a little yard light. Um, there's all kinds of alarms and relays and stuff monitoring things such as oil temperature, winding temperature on the power transformer. And the way we get that sometimes, not always, but this, this particular setup, it's pretty neat. So we've got 230 kV feeding this power transformer. And it's got a little tap off. You can see the three bushings on the right hand side, which transfers that down to 1247 kV. Cross that bus work and into this little pad mount transformer, which then again steps that down to 120, 240 volts. But the main purpose of this power transformer isn't to, to get that 1247 kV. It's actually transferring the 230,000 volt line. I'll try to speak a bit louder. It's quite noisy over here. But we transfer that 230 kV down to 138. And the remaining of the switch yard is all 138 kV equipment. So this, this is basically the source for this whole switch yard. You can see up top, we've got another set of disconnects. If, if ever we've got to work on this transformer for, for maintenance or, or anything, we'll use the disconnect at the top right of the screen, as well as the disconnect over off to the left to isolate this power transformer. Also, you'll notice up top on the, the high voltage lines, we go from a single to a bundled conductor. That's because as we step that voltage down from, from 230 to 138, the current's gonna increase so there's going to be the same amount of wattage going through the same amount of power. However, the current goes up and the voltage goes down. The, the higher voltage, I'm not sure without looking at my map where this line comes from, but it travels over quite a large distance. So the higher the voltage, the better. It's, it's a lower current on the lines. There's less of a voltage drop when you transport power at a higher voltage. This, this power transformer, it weighs over 500,000 pounds. It's, it's pretty impressive. It's quite an operation when you get into moving and installing these things. Even this, this rad unit, that, that 500,000 pound, 500, pounds doesn't include this radiator. Some extremely large cooling fans. Just, we're just at the terminal today. I was actually doing inspections on the, the pad mount transformers. There's a couple of them in this, this terminal. The first one I opened was actually loaded right up with, with hornets. Just yeah, another hazard this time of the year. It's starting to get cool so that those hornets will try to hibernate somewhere where it's warm. Usually doesn't pan out for them. 
Anyways, I'm gonna carry on with my inspection, guys. Figured I'd give you a couple up close and personal shots with 230 kV transformer. It's, it's pretty impressive up close there, kind of intimidating all the, the noises and sounds it makes. It's uh, not something most people see every day. So figured I'd share that with you guys. Thanks for stopping in as usual, and we'll see you guys soon.